Self-improvement presence. Saying goodbye is hard in relationships. This week, you will learn how to say goodbye properly. There is an easy way to do it if you are like me, who loves a good dramatic scene, but that's not what relationships should be about. Good endings are emotional ones, and they don't usually have lots of drama and shouting. They are typically longer than you expect because people often need time to feel better before they can settle down. But we get into this situation where things aren't working anymore, and sometimes there's just no other option than to say goodbye. It may hurt at first, but I promise you that it will make your relationship stronger in the long run. Say goodbye with grace. This video isn't going to tell you how to be best friends forever after something bad happens. That's not this website or this book's job. We all know how to be friends, and most likely have been for years now. What this video will help you do is teach you how to say goodbye with grace. You won't necessarily agree with each other afterward, which could make it even harder to remain close as friends, but at least you left on good terms. That's one of the biggest things anyone should look for in a friendship, someone you can trust to leave you together. There are many reasons why breakups happen. Breakup stories always seem to make at least the reader feel good for one minute before they cry or yell. They may even be happy for a few hours after, but then it slowly creeps back in. It is this creeping sadness that reminds you of what you lost and how much you miss them. There'll be days where you can't get out of bed because you don't want to face your day you'd rather stay in your pajamas and watch TV than go through the motions of taking care of yourself. You might forget to eat, and when you do try to sit down to cook something, you'll find there isn't anything in the house. You'll spend most of your time thinking about what you did wrong and why you didn't measure up, instead of focusing on what you left behind. It takes a lot of effort to hold on to these things, and once someone else has touched them, it feels like you no longer have control over them. This makes you feel even worse about yourself, and sometimes that's a spiral you can't stop going down. Some things you can't control. In relationships, there will be times when you just feel like giving up. You'll get into an argument that is really frustrating and then you'll just want to give up and say goodbye for good. When you're in a relationship where you've invested your time, energy, and love, it's very hard to keep going when you feel like this. This is totally normal. It happens to everyone. It may be because you feel like you're spending all of your time with him or her, but not much else. Or maybe you don't have as many friends since either one of you is too busy with work and or family responsibilities. Or perhaps they seem more focused on their career than on you and your needs. Whatever the case, staying in a relationship is a challenge. It takes effort, motivation, and sometimes even strength from you. But remember, you're both working towards a goal, having a happy, healthy relationship. So if you need some alone time, try talking about it instead of leaving each other cold. Give each other space and understand that this is a season and it will pass. Don't be too hard on your partner. It can feel like a battle of wills when one person wants to break up, while the other doesn't. It's important to remember that even if you're feeling hurt or angry right now, there are still good reasons to separate from someone you love. You should never have to spend time apart from somebody you care about simply because they don't want to be with you anymore. Breaking up is always difficult, but it's very possible to work through this together. There are many ways to deal with a breakup, depending on how much space and time you have left together. Getting help is an excellent idea, whether you're separated for a few days, weeks, months, or years. Ask family members, friends, or professionals for their advice during these tough times. It's normal to feel sad and grief-stricken. Letting go of someone you love is never easy. Sometimes, it can even be painful. But that doesn't mean you don't love them anymore. It just means that your relationship ended. Relationship endings are always difficult no matter what type of bond you have with the other person. If you still really care about this person, try to work through your feelings and move on. It takes time to heal from a breakup, but doing so is worth it. Breakups are natural events that occur in relationships. You both came together as a couple, and now one of you is moving on. Mourn the loss of the relationship. When you are ready to say goodbye, it can be difficult. You may feel angry, hurt, or even betrayed by your partner. You may also feel lonely because you don't want to talk about what happened anymore. 
It is totally normal to feel some of these things when you say goodbye to someone you love. But there is an important thing that must be done after saying goodbye. You have to mourn the loss of this relationship. This means thinking about all the ways you loved each other and feeling sad about how much you will miss them. If you don't do this, then you won't be able to think about moving on. You'll keep yourself stuck in the past, which doesn't help anyone. At times you may feel like staying in this relationship and trying harder, but this would just make the hurting worse. It's best to acknowledge that this isn't working and to let go. Take time to process your emotions. It's so hard saying goodbye when you're in a relationship. Breaking up is tough no matter what kind of relationship you are in, but it can be even harder if you've been feeling something for each other for a while. If this is the case, then going through all the stages, like mourning, grieving, and processing, will take longer. This is totally normal and okay, there's not much you can do about that. You may feel like you need extra help sorting through your feelings, which is great because you do. Hiring professional support can be very helpful. There are many good therapists and counselors who specialize in relationships. Finding one that works for you can make a big difference in how quickly you recover. This video will talk about some things that could help you cope with your breakup better. But first, let us look at why breakups happen. Don't try to force a reconciliation. In your anger, you may hurt or even scare away someone who has made an effort to put themselves into a difficult position by trying to save their relationship. This can be very damaging for the long term, especially if they have made a real effort to change things for the better. They could feel like it was all in vain when you call time on your relationship. If this is happening during a separation then it's particularly hard as they will also likely be feeling upset and lost at this stage too. It can make matters worse than before. By the time you are both ready to talk again, it can easily become more difficult, if not impossible, to re-establish trust and confidence where it once stood. This makes any possible future reunification much harder. Don't add extra stress to an already troubled situation by attempting a reconciliation while that person is still struggling with how to cope with the breakup. Some things you can do to help your partner heal. It is normal to feel sad when relationships come to an end but there are certain ways that can make this process easier. When needed, ask about their day. Offer to run errands or do something fun so they don't have to. Ask how they would like to say goodbye. If it's in person, offer for them to go directly from work to the apartment so they don't have to back out of the house. If possible, avoid making big announcements while they're feeling low, instead, let them sleep off their depression before you talk. Let them vent away any feelings they have, sometimes crying help. Avoid giving too much advice unless they invite you to, but be sure to listen and show empathy.